Hey, this is John, and today I want to uh, share uh, something with you that I think is so important for everyone that is trying to make money online. So if you're wanting to learn how to make money online, uh, and you're kind of floundering or struggling and, and having a little trouble getting some traction and getting started, I want to talk to you about five truths about making money online. And these are things that are a lot about mindset, but they're super important that you do need to know and you need to understand if you want to have uh, be successful in making money online. Okay, so let's go here to uh, number one. The first truth is that you only make money when you are selling. Oops, I guess if I try to fix my grammar, you only make money when you sell or when you are selling. And that's important. It seems, you know, it kind of makes sense, right? You don't make money if you don't sell anything. But as obvious as it sounds, a lot of people that start out, they get caught up in, you know, buying things, buying products, buying software, buying, you know, these secret loopholes or, or hacks or other things. Um, but you don't make money when you buy things, okay? Now, this doesn't matter if you're selling your own product, if you have something that you're selling which is yours, or if you're promoting somebody else's product or service as an affiliate. Um, either way, you're selling, and that is how you're going to make money. So before you do anything, the very first question, the first question you have to ask yourself is, what am I selling? And this is, you know, whether you're sitting down to write a blog post, uh, you're going to do a YouTube video, you're going to do a social media post, um, you're going to, you want to try and put a product, wh whatever it is, it doesn't matter. The first thing that go, needs to go through your, your mind and your thinking is, what am I selling? And then you make that video or that blog post or that social media post, whatever it is, you make it geared towards whatever that product is that you're selling. And that's whether that's your own product or uh, your, it's a product as an affiliate. So that's number one. Number two, doing is more important than learning. Okay. And this is important to understand because so many people, unfortunately, when they're getting started, you know, it's kind of overwhelming. You don't know how to do a lot of things online. You may not know some of the technical things, right? You know, you may not know how to use WordPress or how to work with an email autoresponder, how to buy a domain name. So these things can be overwhelming. And so you end up spending a lot of time watching videos, you know, kind of getting sucked into YouTube or buying courses, reading books. And, and so you kind of get into, um, you know, this feeling of, hey, I'm learning, and you equate learning with doing, and they're, they're not the same, okay? So learning is not doing. Um, a favorite phrase of mine is, um, you know, the activity is not necessarily equal productivity. So just because your activity is learning, that does not necessarily mean that you're being productive if you're not actually doing. You're not taking what you learn and put it into practice. And so, uh, instead, what you want to do is don't waste a lot of time on learning. Now, you have to learn, so don't get me wrong. I'm not saying don't learn. Learn what you need to, but then immediately put it into action, okay? The problem most people find is maybe they need to, uh, you know, learn how to use, uh, uh, you know, a certain plugin on their WordPress website. And so they go to YouTube and they watch a video, but then they decide, well, let me watch this other video and then watch a third and fourth video and fifth video. And really, they learned everything they needed to know from that first video. But they feel like they're missing out. They feel like they they don't know everything yet, right? And so they stop or they don't actually stop and do what they've learned. They keep trying to learn, thinking that if they don't, they're going to miss out, okay? And so don't worry so much about that. And also don't, you know, let, you know, the, the act of learning be an excuse for procrastination, okay? Um, just put it into action, learn what you need to, and then take action by doing what you learned. All right, uh, number three, um, and this is uh, another tough one for some people, but you won't get it all in one 
place, meaning you won't learn everything you need to from just one place. Some people are looking for that, you know, kind of hidden, special, magical coaching, mm -hmm. training, membership program that has it all. Okay. And I've seen some pretty good ones where they really do have a lot of good content, a lot of the technical things, a lot of the strategy things, traffic, etc. But it still isn't everything. Making money online is, you know, there really isn't a course that exists that covers everything. Um, making money online, no matter what kind of online business model you're going after, there's just too many different moving parts for one course to cover it completely. Now, what ends up happening then is, you know, you buy a course, it looks awesome, all kinds of great promises, and you get into it and you feel like it's not teaching you everything, so you get frustrated, and you go and try and get a refund because now you got to go and buy, find a better course. Don't try to refund that course. You're learning. You're learning from that course, okay? I, you know, there's a course I bought several years ago, probably four years ago now. It cost me $10. It taught a strategy, and it actually showed a lot of the technical things for that strategy. But I took that concept that I learned in that $10 course, and I applied it to some of the freelance work I was doing, and I've made easily over $50,000 um, doing freelance work from that concept that I learned in that $10 course. Now, that $10 course didn't teach me everything I needed to know. I had to go and learn some other things. But, you know, pick, the point is kind of pick little bits and pieces from different things that you buy. There's always something you can learn. There's always a trick you can learn that can add money to your bottom line. And if you buy something for $10 and it, it helps you make 11 then you're ahead, right? You, you made money. Maybe it'll help you make 20 or 50 or $100 or thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars. But you have to have the ability uh, to teach yourself what you don't know, to go out and find that information. Um, and the truth of the matter is, just to be blunt, there's a lot of people that are very attracted to the idea of making money online, you know, sitting behind their computer for two hours a day, and all of a sudden they're going to be millionaires overnight, right? Or they want to, you know, have the freedom to travel, and as long as they have their laptop, they can work from the beach or the mountains or wherever they are, anywhere in the world. And while that is true, unfortunately, there's a lot of people that just aren't cut out for it. They just aren't cut out to being driven to learn, to learn for themselves. And it's much easier to make an excuse and say, oh, that guy didn't teach me everything I need to know. That course didn't teach me. They're, they're hiding stuff from me. They're not, you know, there's some secret that is being hidden that they all know, but they're not sharing. And that's why I can't get ahead. And that's not really true. You know, so I'm sorry to be blunt, but that's the truth. What you need to do is use Google, use YouTube. Those are tremendous resources to find things, to find things quickly. But again, once you learn it, you got to, you know, go back to point number two here. You got to put it into action, okay? But don't get bogged down thinking you're going to find the magic, you know, bean that uh, teaches you everything in one place, okay? So, number four, you need to understand that it really is a numbers game, okay? And, um, you know, you hear about this, um, but essentially what it comes down to is just the more things that you sell, the more money you're going to make. The more things that you promote, either as your own product or as an affiliate, the more money you're going to make. You know, look at singers. They don't just make one song and put all their eggs in that one song and hope that that's going to make them rich and famous. No, they record lots of songs or book, you know, authors. They, they write lots of books. Some will be successful, some will flop. Movies, I mean, look at movies. Look how many new movies come out every year. And now with all these online streaming services, Netflix and Amazon and Disney Plus and all that, they're making more and more and more TV shows and movies. And again, some will be successful, some will flop. But you have to put a lot out there. You can't try to put all your eggs in one basket. It's a numbers game, and you just got to um, understand that and go with that. And then the last point I want to make, which I think is also just super important, 
And it's something I think all of us can struggle with, and I certainly can, where you look at your situation and you try to compare yourself to somebody else, right? You know, there's people that I look up to in the online business, you know, because they're successful, because, you know, they, they're open, they put out great products, I learn a ton, and I look at them and I'm like, ah, oh, man, they're doing this, and I'm kind of struggling, and, you know, they're way up here, and I'm down here, and, and how can I get up to their level, right? And, you know, that's, I think, natural for us to kind of look and compare, but you really can't do that. I mean, I think there's nothing wrong with looking at people and wanting to do better and wanting to, you know, achieve the same, uh, you know, status that they've gotten themselves to. But the truth of the matter is, really, you just need to compare yourself to you. And one saying I really love is, all you need to do is, Make sure today that you're just 1% better than you were yesterday. And every day, just make sure you're 1% better, 1% better. So you don't have to be 50% better than you were yesterday or 100% better than you were yesterday. You just need to keep getting better a little bit every day. Okay? Um, the other problem when you, when you start to compare is, you know, it leads to disillusionment. It can actually lead to depression, feeling discontented, um, getting burnt out. Um, it, it's just not worth it. And to be honest, there's unfortunately a lot of people online who try to present themselves a certain way that they're making a lot of money and they're, you know, working two hours a day and spending the rest of the day with their family and at the beach. And, and some people really do have that lifestyle because they've put in a lot of hard work and they've had success. But there's a lot of people online that give the illusion that they're very successful, and they really aren't. Um, and so that's why you don't want to end up comparing yourself to other people. Just worry about yourself. Compare yourself to yourself. Certainly strive for more. Um, try to reach uh, where other people have gotten. Nothing wrong with that. But don't be hard on yourself or be um, too um, down on yourself if maybe you don't uh, reach those heights or feel like you're not going to get there or, you know, why can't I do this? Okay. You can do awesome. Take time. Learn every day. Okay. Make sure you're selling. Make sure you're doing something every day. That's the other thing I think that I, I should have mentioned when I said doing is more important than learning is just make sure you're doing something every day. Take action every day. Um, and, and when I say every day, I mean seven days a week. Okay. You need to be doing something. And I don't mean spending six hours a day on the computer, but every day you should be doing something. Even if it's just five or ten minutes, it needs to be something. Because when you develop a habit like that, then you'll stay with it. It's like exercising. You know, if you just exercise once a week, you probably aren't going to really have very good results. And if you're only working on in your online business one day a week, you're probably not going to have very good results. It's going to be hard to maintain momentum and motivation, and you're not going to see results, and so then you're going to get frustrated, depressed, and delude. disillusioned, especially if you're comparing yourself to other people who make it look like they're so successful, and why can't I be? Okay, so find information wherever you need to. Don't think you're going to find it all in one place. It's not all, you know, hidden from you. It, it really, to be honest, a lot of the information, it's all out there, <laughs> you know, and a lot of it's on Google and YouTube. Now, some people take that information and they put it into a course or membership and, and they sell it, and there's nothing wrong with that because what they're doing is putting it all in one place so you're not, you know, having to go 20 different places and find it for yourself and then try to figure out, you know, how to put all that information into a certain order. So buying a course or a membership can be really helpful, but you still may need to get information from other places. And it is a numbers game, and just please don't compare yourself to people. I wish you the best. It, uh, working online can be a lot of fun. It can be inspiring. It can be frustrating, <laughs> but uh, I enjoy it, and I hope you get the same enjoyment uh, that I do from it and that these truths help you be successful in your online journey.